Okay. What I'm doing right now is I'm painting the outside definition of this bottle. This is going to be a ship in a bottle or a mermaid in a bottle. I haven't decided yet, but right now I'm painting the bottle. So the first thing is called blocking. Uh, you can see in this painting right here that I blocked out my color in the background. Like the, Every painting has a predominant color as its theme. It has a predominant color, it has a predominant shade. It's light, it's dark so on and so forth. So if something is going to be an ocean painting, then the base color that I put down first, because acrylic paint is translucent, um, some of it will show through and you can build layers and blend the colors that way. So when I first start out with an ocean painting, I start out with either blue or green, depending on what kind of water or what kind of a look I want. Caribbean water tends to be more green in nature. This is a Caribbean early evening time frame with the lighting is early evening. Um, Northern Atlantic waters are a really deep blue. Um, that's how I start my work in acrylic is by laying down the base color. So right now, I'm going to move this camera in so you can see it. Um, I don't know if that's even a good view. I have to master this. I'm not used to doing this for people. But I'm glad that you're patrons of my studio and I want you to feel like you're part of this process with me. So what I'm going to do now is take my fan brush, right here, um, and I'm going to block out some white. Because glass has to be completely transparent. I'm taking my white. and a little water. Um, can you see that? And I'm taking just plain white. And what I'm going to do is just start to define the outline of this bottle. I'm going to start and dab some of that off. Um, I keep paper towels laying around to, to get my excess paint or water off. Um, I'm not sure how well this is, you can see this, but um, all I'm doing is blending in some very translucent white. This is going to be the outline of the bottle. And a fan brush is great because you can do a fine line with it when you use it one way, and then you can use it to blend. It's the best brush there is for blending. Anybody that's ever watched Bob Ross knows that the fan brush is pretty great for blending color. In this case, the background's already dry, so I am just blending in. I'm, I'm actually covering up with white. You can see the translucency of that. try to get a better angle on this thing. Bear with me. Probably getting dizzy. Okay. All right. This is starting to frustrate me. Um there. Now you can see something. The underdrawing on this painting was um, done with a Papermate black marker, um, felt tip marker. I use that because it, it's not permanent like a Sharpie. It will, if I add water to my brush, but it will dissolve my line. Um, there's going to be a little bit of a discoloration in your color because there's a black line of ink, but that ink will dissolve into the paint and become, it'll just erase it in the process of the painting. So I like using that. If you're a painter and you want to paint, try using a Papermate felt tip black marker for your under drawing for your painting. See if that works. 
I guarantee it will. Now what I've done, you can see this. You can see my underdrawing. This is the marker. And I just did a very light fade of some very watered down white. Um, just to establish my outline. So that is lesson number one. I'm going to turn this off so I can focus on my painting. And I'll do another video as I'm further along.